Hello everyone, uh, today I've decided to make this video about um, how I go about dissecting the dialogues. For example, you have dialogues in Teach Yourself series. Um, well, I mainly use Teach Yourself series. So, um, what I do is uh, <clears throat> break down the dialogue and make sure I understand everything in that dialogue before I move on to other grammar points, okay? So today what I've done is made a, I made a, um, I took this dialogue here I made for one of my students and it's a, it's, it's a dialogue between him and, and one of his friends. So um, I will just break down to you how I go about um, mastering the grammar here before I move on. Okay, so let's adjust this camera here. All right. see that all right so uh, shoot all right so this dialogue here of course is Japanese okay um, it's okay if many of you can't speak Japanese it's just just this is just an example but um, what I would do what I also would do would make uh, other dialogues in different languages just to show you guys so just tell me which language you want me to do a dialogue in and I'll, I'll make that dialogue and then I'll, um, <clears throat> I'll make that dialogue and break down the grammar for you and show you how to go about studying those grammar points, okay? So this dialogue here is between uh, one of my students and a friend of his, okay? So basically, um, what I've done here is uh, the, red, the red lines, I've underlined all the, uh, the, uh, the verbs here, okay, in different forms, okay? so. Here, Kyoai o tenki is ne. Today is good weather, isn't it? And so it is ne. Nani o bento shite masu ka? Okay, so this sentence here, Nani o bento shite masu ka? What are you studying? So we have here our verb, benkyo suru. Okay, so in Japanese, you, you guys already know that in, uh, they have the plain dictionary forms. Uh, we call them infinitives in English. So benkyo suru will be the infinitive for to study, okay? So here we have the te imus. All right, we have te imus, which means it's ing. You're doing it. It's ongoing. Okay. So uh, what you will want to do is make sure you have a grammar book. That's why I said I recommended. I recommended you to get this Shams book here. Get this Shams book. And the Kans and Masters are pretty good. They're pretty good. Okay, because they have a lot of grammar stuff in here. So. Um, what you want to do is see how they work, you know, see how this works, this te must, okay? So go, go study all the te forms, all right? And put all those verbs into the te must form and get used to it until you have mastered those and you're ready to move on, okay? So that's basically what I do in any language. I'll, um, I'll have a dialogue, I'll dissect the dialogue, okay? And then, uh, whatever grammar points are there, I try to go back and find, um, I use the books I have, the grammar books, and um, get practice with the te must. Or not, uh, well, the te must in Japanese, of course, but whatever the grammar point is in that language, I try to practice as much as I can. I'll probably spend a week on it until I have mastered it, depending on what language it is, okay? But this is what you want to do, okay? So this is the first example. Menkyo te must, studying. So you want to learn how to put all verbs in the ongoing tense, okay? And once you have mastered that, Move on to the next grammar point. See what's what's next in the dialogue. Okay, so Ohio State today, Nihongo wo senko shiteimasu. Okay, so we have another verb here, senko graduate. I mean, senko <laughs> majoring in senko shiteimasu. So majoring in Japanese at Ohio State. Okay, so senko suru is another verb for our other infinitive for to uh, to major in. Okay, so senko shiteimasu. All right. So as explained before, te must is an ongoing. Okay, so you want to make sure you master these tenses here for this dialogue. Okay, honto ni really nihongo wo bengyo shite kara nani wo suru tsumori desu ka? So really, after studying Japanese, what do you plan to do? Okay, um, so here you have again you have bengyo suru, but this time it's a different form. Okay. You have the te plus kara, which means you something you after doing this and after doing that. So, um, Nihongo wo benkyo shite kara 
So after studying Japanese, so you want to make, so you want to look this up, okay? Take after doing this and after doing that. Look this form up and see how it works and pra get practice with the other verbs. Put the other, ver other verbs in the te form and put kara and you get after doing that and after doing this, okay? So you want to master this as well. Master that grammar point, okay? And here, nani o suru tsumori desu ka? So what do you plan to do here? So this is a different grammar point. So you have a plain form plus tsumori. Tsumori by itself means to plan, okay? Tsumori by itself means to plan. So the rule here is you put the um, verb, whatever the verb is, you put it in the plain form plus tsumori, okay? And then it'll make it to plan. So suru tsumori, plan to do. Now if we use this, go back and use this verb uh, from before, benkyo suru. Benkyo suru tsumori. That means plan to study, okay? So this is another grammar point. Tsumori, you want to uh, get practice with that. Now this dictionary here that I, I uh, showed you guys the other day is very good, okay? Because they have examples in it. This Kodansha English and Japanese Dictionary. There are a lot of examples in here. So anything that comes to mind, just look it up and then give you examples, okay? So let's see what my time is looking like. Uh, 625, okay. So that's another grammar point there, okay? All right, next sentence. Mara kimete imasen. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Okay. Minai wa iroiro na koto wo suru koto ga dekimasu, dekimashio. Okay. So in the future, there are various things I can do. Okay. Here's another grammar point. Koto ga dekimasu. That means able to do. It's it's uh, it's potential form. They have two different potential forms in Japanese, and this is one of them. Okay. So the koto ga dekimasu. That's the that's the um, standard form for for potential now how do you connect the uh the verb to it the same as the same as before we did you know with sumori you put the verb in the you put the verb in the infinitive form plus koto ga dekimasu and then you will be you will have your potential so here suru, ko, suru koto ga dekimasu is able to do this possibility to do okay because suru means to do or to play but here in this context it means to do so suru koto ga dekimasu yo able to do. So in the future, there are various things um, I'm able to do. Suru koto ga dekimasu yo. Okay. So koto ga dekimasu yo is a construction for for able or possible or possibility. Okay. So that's also in those books. Look that up. The pot go to in Shams. If you go to potential, they have this koto ga dekimasu. Okay. So you can find these forms here. So find the forms, match the forms. Okay, that's the goal. All right, next next uh, sentence. Tatoeba, for example, kaisho to cruise online ni honnyago suru koto ga dekitari tsuyaku wo suru koto ga dekimasu ga haiyu ni naritai desu. Okay, so for example, I can um, do things such as working for the company and the cruise line by doing translation, translating for these two comp for the cruise line and the company able to do. So here you have sutu, suru koto ga dekimasu again, okay? Honnyaku suru, well actually I should say honnyaku suru to translate, which is in a plain form. So honnyaku suru koto ga dekimasu. Okay, able to translate. Now this tari here is another, it's, it's, it's another uh, grammar point, okay? And what that means, it means, um, it means you do things like this and like such as things like that. So it's tari at the end. So, now usually when you see this tari, um, my time. Okay, time is going fast now. So usually when you see this tari, they 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 use it twice in a sentence. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop it here. I'll make a second part because I can't go past ten minutes here, which is a shame. But um, I'll be right back with the second part.